Hey everyone, so now let's continue our discussion of changing of states and now we're going to explore that using a heating curve. Now a heating curve shows the different changes between the solid state to the gas to the liquid state first and then the gas state. So we're moving from a solid to a liquid and then to a gas. So Let's start by drawing our heating curve. Now, the heating curve is basically a graph between temperature in degrees Celsius versus time in minutes. So we're just monitoring the temperature of the matter in its different states. Now, let's see. So here we start from ice at zero degrees Celsius. Now, we start with ice and we're warming up the ice. So here there is ice warming up. Now, as the ice required sufficient energy for the particles to vibrate in order to expand, now here the melting happens. So here is ice melting. And then we get the water. So let me change the color. So here we have water, purely water. Now here water is warming up, the same thing. And then... As the water is warming up, it reaches sufficient energy. And this is the temperature of the 100 degrees Celsius. Now, water is boiling. So here, water is boiling. So as the water boils, it's it acquires enough energy for the bonds to break and for the particles to escape onto the gas phase. So here we, we're going to get steam. So here the energy went to breaking bonds of the water in order for the particles to escape onto the gas state. So let's do this using segments to clarify it and make it more clear. So here we have segment AB and BC and then CD and then DE and finally EF. Now let's analyze this. So in segment AB, the energy is given to warm up the ice. So here energy is given for warming up the particles. So what happens when the particles warm up? It means that they vibrate more, so more vibration, and therefore expansion happens. Now, when they expand, now here we are in segment BC. Now, the ice is melting. So, melting happens. Now, they establish that they are expanding. Now, here we're moving on to segment CD. So, segment CD, we have the water warming up, which means that the particles acquire enough energy so they acquire enough energy to escape to the gas phase so this is for segment cd now we're moving on to segment de so here segment de we're having pure evaporation so here, pure evaporation, and then EF, we have the steam. So we reached our goal. We're reaching the gas phase. So that's it. That's what you guys need to know for heating curves. So let's recap. So in this video, we talked about heating curves, and we said this is a graph between temperature and time. And we said that energy as it's given to the ice it starts warming up until the ice melts now we get pure water and now this water is warming up and then as the water is warming up it starts to evaporate so this is evaporation right there and then we get steam alone and then we analyze the different segments of the graph and we said segment AB is pure warming up. It's giving energy to the particles in order to expand. So this is expanding to the liquid state.
and then we said that BC is pure melting and CD we get water warming up we're giving energy for the water particles to escape onto the gas state and then we have pure evaporation and finally we get steam which is the, the one thing that we need for this whole process so that's it for heating curves in the next video we're going to be talking about diffusion so stay tuned and good luck